Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gage 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Today here we have, this is a continued project, so uh, we have our doors and windows in. Um, if you have not seen that video, it's linked down at the bottom. Should be video 2 and then video 1 is uh, creating the walls, editing each wall the correct way instead of just using a generic wall. Here we're going to go ahead and add a floor and add some components load in some families and things like that. So let's get started. So we pretty much have our layout of our small house. Um, you're going to walk in into the living room space and it's open with the kitchen. So we have our, we have two bedrooms here. We're going to have our bathroom in the center. We got small closets here in our living room space. So first, let's go ahead and add a floor. We're going to go up to floor. Under architecture, we just go into floor. And again, like in walls, you have your generic pieces. You have a generic 12 inch. You have a wood finish. Um, that's pretty appropriate. So let's go ahead. Let's see. Let's see what this is built up. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this is this is very appropriate, but I mean, if you don't want to use wood and you want to use something else, you can just rename this. You can go ahead and choose carpet or something, but we'll go with this floor. Um, so this wood joist uh, 10 inch is appropriate for what we're going to do. So if you hover over a wall, you just select tab and make sure your that dotted, that dashed line is on the outside. So let's zoom in a little bit. So if I hover over this wall, the dash line is on the outside. I can move it in if I want, but we want it on the outside. So just hit this is back out. Just hit tab and it'll get every every wall for you. And we just hit this here. And now we have our floor. But yeah, so we have our floor and let's start adding some components to get this looking like a floor plan. So under architecture, components. Um you'll have some things loaded here, but not exactly what I want. So let's go to edit load and let's start with the bathroom so let's go to plumbing architecture fixtures and let's go to a bathtub um we can do either one of these let's just let's do this one here this 2d and just like with doors and it looks like we need to make our bathroom a little bigger, which is fine. But just like with doors, you can just hit spacebar and you can go ahead and flip that around like that. Um, just choose a side. So this should be 60 inches. I don't know what happened. Um, whoops. All right. So we got this fixed here. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and allow some more room. So let's just stretch this out a little bit. And it's fine if we do that. You know, this isn't. We're not confined to any size, but I want to make the bathroom a little bigger. My door slid over. Or actually, that closet space a little bigger. And we'll line this one up. AL to align with that door. Whoops. AL. Okay. And uh, we need at least eight feet here. Okay. And I may go a little more. Let's see, six foot there. Let's go eight foot six. Okay. So let's go ahead. All right. So components. Let's add our tub back in. Let's go ahead and flip it. We can flip it in. Either way we want, but we'll just go that way. Bring this down. All right, so we need a toilet. I don't think I have one loaded. Let me make sure. No, so let's go to edit, load. And in that same category, we just go to water closets. And we can just choose this one here. Now, rule I go by is 16 inches from the fixture. So let's just go 16 inches here. And I'll just 
and I'll just I'll delete that line because we don't want to show it in models in 3d space or anything let's just move that back right there and we'll have a small vanity in here so let's go to edit load let's go back because we need to go to casework down at the bottom here and base cabinets and we can do vanity um, let's see if we can squeeze a small double yeah 24 inch and I'm gonna make this bigger I'm gonna make it even bigger like I said we're not confined to any size or anything I just made it too small so uh, let's go ahead and throw this in there and we're gonna stretch we're gonna stretch this out okay that's pretty big we can go ahead and do a bigger vanity and that gives us bigger bedrooms and that helps out a lot so let's see let's see what a 48 inch yeah that's a decent size All right, so we got a vanity in there. We can go ahead and drop in a sink. Um, I think in that same category as plumbing, yeah, plumbing, you can go to fixtures. So plumbing, architecture, uh, fixtures, and sink. And we should have a round and a square. Let's go round. just do one all right you can add things like beds so let's go to edit load and if you go to furniture category okay inside of furniture you should have uh, should have beds and let's just go to standard beds and you can go through here and cycle through like double king queen and twin so uh, let's do some see how a queen fits in here do it like this and since we said this is like student housing we can go ahead and add some desk in there see what type of desk we got yeah you can put like a Maybe something in the corner here. I don't know. Do this one different like that. And you can add a chair. So let's go back here. Seating inside of the furniture. And we have a desk chair here. We'll use that. And if you want, you can import things from 3D Warehouse from SketchUp. I do that a lot. Um, or you can go to RevitCity.com and you can find different components and different families. But uh, this is like the default stuff that Revit gives you. Okay. Let's add some kitchen stuff. So components, edit, load, let's go to casework, base cabinets. And we can just go in here, see what we want. Uh, I know we're going to need a corner cabinet because I kind of want to go around this corner here. So let's just start there. Add a corner cabinet. Um, let's go back to edit, load, and let's get some uh, base cabinets here. Um, yeah, these two. Oops two drawer cabinets are fine 30 inch is fine I'll just start laying this out let's see how deep I want to go that should be fine and we'll do some over here well, let's line this up a little better whoops AL there we go 
we'll just copy, uh, select multiple, and we can bring it on down, give ourselves a big kitchen, and since this isn't like a huge space, we'll just do like an eat-in kitchen, so we'll create an island here, I'm thinking about doing it at an angle, I think it's nice to walk in and have that island off on an angle like that, so let's go ahead and do that. So what I like to do is, I like to take some cabinets, and let's get up in this corner real quick just so I can get that angle. Alright, and I'll just lay them out. Okay, we can just do two for now. Let's, whoops. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a wall back here. Let's get a 2 by 4 We'll change the height. So it's going to be at 10 foot. We'll do a top offset. We'll just subtract. Minus 4 foot 2. That gives us 5 foot 10. Let's do 5 foot 2. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and move this back here. Alright, let's align it on here. Okay, not like that. Alright, so you'll have a countertop on this side. We'll probably throw the sink here. And actually, this may just be an open space for like a dishwasher or something. Um, leaving a lot of counter space and space for the range um, we can have a range top in the corner or I kind of like to have the range closer to where wherever the sink is so I may have the sink here have a range here uh, let's see we got a window there maybe the range here and the sink here okay so we'll leave that open for a small range okay let's go ahead and add some furniture some uh, living room furniture. Um, da, 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 da. Let's go back down to furniture, seating, and again, you can go into SketchUp if t there's something else you like. But I'm just gonna go with what Revit gives us. So let's like lay out something. Something like this right here. Yeah, we could have a TV here in the center. Um, maybe a bigger couch here. can edit duplicate sofa 2 and let's make this a little bigger there we go we'll probably open it up like this so you can walk into it let's go ahead and throw in a uh, coffee table or something so and furniture still you can go to tables and you have end tables, you have your dining tables, and you have your coffee table. Um, go ahead and throw in a coffee table. Um, and we can change the size of this. Because I want like a center. Not really centered, but one of those long tables. Uh, we could do six foot seven. Whoopsies. Rotate. You can just hit R O for short if you want. Sometimes I, I know the commands. Sometimes I use them. Sometimes I just go up and grab it. It it's different every time. 
Okay. And we can throw a TV in here. Um, we can go to architecture, component, edit, load. Where is the TV? I have to remember where the TV is. Here it is, right here. It's under furniture. And it comes with a stand, and you can change the size. Usually people like bigger TVs in their living room. But there's a stand. If you want to make it a wall hung, just go in here, edit family, and just delete this. And it's not going to screw anything up. It's just going to change it for this particular project. Load into project. All right, so you got a, got a little living room set here. You walk in, you got a kitchen layout and all that stuff. So so we have our floor and we got some basic components laid in. Um, next video, we'll go in and we'll start doctoring this up to make, give it a, a nicer look uh, with dimensions. We'll call out some rooms, um, give it room tags. Um, we'll create a list for those things. Uh, I'll throw in some countertops here and add a range also. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and click the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks.